to Clinician's Notebook by Doc Athena. This is a Contravet's Technical Diary to anyone for free. Today, we are going to discuss case number 005, Dystocia in Cats. What is Dystocia? Now let's proceed to clinical presentation. Dystocia or dystochia means difficulty at birth. It is a medical term that came from the Greek words dys and tokos, meaning difficulty and birth respectively. Dystocia came from the Greek words dys and tokos, which means difficulty and birth respectively. Therefore, dystocia or dystochia means difficulty at birth. In cats, this is common among brachycephalic and dolicephalic breeds, such as the Persian and Devon Rex, respectively. However, this is also common in Siamese and DSH or domestic short hair breeds. There are three stages of parturition, the first stage or dilatation period, the second stage or the expulsive period, and the third stage or the expulsion of the placenta. For the first stage, there are three events that concurrently occur. Sudden drop in progesterone, myometrial contractions, and cervical dilatation. Vaginal relaxation and intermittent uterine contractions also occur during this period. This period is usually relatively shorter in queens as compared to bitches which usually lasts for about 1-2 to two hours. So how do we know that a patient is already at this stage? Well, there is a presence of cloudy mucous vaginal discharge. There is an increase in maternal heart rate and respiratory rate, so you have to have your stethoscope. The dam would either seek isolation or attention, which is usually characterized by nesting or vocalization or panting. The second stage or the expulsive period has a wide range of 4 to 42 hours with an average of 16 hours. During this time, there is a strong myometrial contractions and onset of abdominal straining. So from cloudy mucous vaginal discharge, there is now a clear vaginal discharge as the chorioallantoic membrane ruptures as the fetus enters the birth canal. The kidney expulsion usually starts at 5 minutes, but usually longer for the first one. In normal parturition of queens, the kittens are born usually in quick succession. However, as the queens get older, the expulsive period becomes longer. The overall feline parturition could take about 6 hours. However, in some cases, some kittens were born over a period of several hours without complications in queens. For the third stage of parturition or the expulsion of the placenta, this usually overlaps with the second stage because sometimes the placenta is expelled after each kitten or after two to three kittens. Failure to expel the kittens 15 to 30 minutes after the rupture of the fetal membrane is a sign of dystocia. There are two causes of dystocia. It could be maternal cause or fetal cause. For maternal causes, it could be pelvic constriction, abnormalities of the caudal reproductive tract, uterine causes, or extrauterine causes. Whereas for fetal causes, it could be fetal oversize, abnormalities in the development, or faulty fetal position. For diagnosis, radiography and ultrasonography could be performed. So what can we see with radiography? We can see there the number, size, and orientation of the fetus cell. Also, any abnormalities in the pelvic canal or the presence of a dead fetus or fetuses could also be seen. For ultrasonography, we could check the fetal heart rate, malformations, fetal distress, and integrity of the placenta could be checked. Healthy kittens have a heart rate of 228.2 plus or minus 35.5. If the fetal heart rate drops to 140 bits per minute, this needs immediate veterinary intervention. For diagnosis, usually history and physical exam, palpation, vaginal exploration by palpation or with the aid of vaginoscopy, as well as laboratory tests are conducted. Treatment for dystocia could be surgical or medical. 
Now let's talk about the medical first. This is done only if birth canal is fully dilated, there is no signs of obstruction, and the general condition of the dam and the offspring are still good. The medical treatment is usually conducted concurrent with parenteral fluids, application of drug, and vaginal installation of warm substitute to fetal fluid. However, be very mindful that uterine rupture could occur due to wrong dosage or use of medicines because these medicines usually cause strong uterine contractions. Also, according to Petzer, the presence of fetus in utero during the diagnosis is a contraindication of medical treatment. So what medicine is used? Usually a synthetic oxytocin. In doing a surgical treatment, it is very important that the patient is stabilized first. The abdominal incision can either be midline or lateral approach. However, the flank incision is said to be advantageous. When an infectious material is already suspected inside the uterus, an end block technique is usually done. Usually, episiotomy is usually done when there is a lodged fetus at the vaginal opening. Now, let's proceed to clinical presentation. Abstract. A seven-year-old female Persian cat was presented to the hospital on September 2, 2010 with a chief complaint of dystocia and prolonged labor. The cat was on her sixth parity and her first kitten was delivered 13 hours prior to presentation. Abdominal palpation revealed two fetuses, one on each uterine horn. The patient underwent cesarean section and ovarian hysterectomy as a treatment of choice for emergency dystocia and prescribed with amoxicillin, multivitamins plus minerals, and vitamin K. That's all, folks, for our clinical discussion from Clinician's Notebook by Doc Athena. I hope to see you again in our next lecture. For those who have not subscribed yet in our YouTube channel, please do so. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below or if you want a private conversation, you can send us a message to Doc Athena Facebook page. Please keep safe, everyone. God bless us all. Bye!